Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified of when we upload new video content, which is always going to be on a regular basis. If you're one of the first of you, first to like, first to comment, first to share, and all that good stuff there. This is a review and a reaction on Naira Mali's EP, which is called Lord of Lampa, or Lamba, my bad, Lord of Lamba, and it's actually an acronym, LOL, yeah? LOL, acronym Florida Lambo. Alright, so let's get into it. So first of all, um, I actually wish to release more tracks on this this EP. This is only six tracks. The bangers that Nari that, that Naira Mali makes, I mean, we need more music, fam. Anyway. So yeah, I like the I like the artwork. I like the artwork. Because the man is Sitting on his throne, blood. He's sitting on his throne, knowing that he's the Lord of Lambo, right? And then you got like people in on either side. It's like they're dancing. So that that in itself says it all, right? So I may be mispronouncing these words, and this is the the fact that I was born and raised in England, but you know, at the end of the day. It is what it is. Um, so the first track is Ten Gaza, uh, featuring C Black, and then there's Tessa Mole, which there's a dance for that. So I can't dance for shit, but who cares? I'm gonna try it one day. Then you got Mafo featuring Young John. Then you got I Say Yen. Or S-A-N. See, I'm, I'm butchering the name of these songs, you know. Then you got Oja. And then you got Yan Yan Yan. Which is featuring Maya Khan. Now, here's the thing about this, this, this EP. I like every single track. I will not front. I actually do. Um, but the one that drew to me very closely was the Tessa Mole one. Um, I don't know why. Maybe, maybe this is why. Let me play it for a second. I don't mean like, like playing. Like instantly. You just. Are you a Malian, yeah? Leave your answer in the comment section below if you are. If you are a Malian. Now let me, not, let me stop playing it now. Yeah. What I recommend that you do, if you want to listen to all of it, the link is in the description box below. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Um, it This just makes me... Like, the more I listen to Afrobeats, yeah, the more I want to actually learn my language. Although, he's not speaking your, um, Igbo, but... I would like to learn more Igbo and I'm going to study more Igbo and I'm going to become more fluent in Igbo. But this is the thing, it draws you closer to the culture of whether whether you're Yoruba or not, whether you're Igbo or not, or whether you're any other tribe, it draws you closer to, to Africa, right? That's the one thing I like about Afrobeats in general. Like, it doesn't matter who you are, where you are on the planet, you just want the vibes. You just want the vibes. When you listen to these music. So that's why I give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah. So. Another thing that I would recommend. Yeah. Is if you click the link in the description box below. Where it says become a member of the Academy on Trust. Yeah. You get access to online courses such as. You know. African history. And that's where you're going to learn more about your. Your African history in general. And you learn to know how to find out. What your, what your actual roots are. Your, your own lineage. Your own roots. Because. Listen, it can get a bit techy out here. So I recommend that you just do that, right? So you can really feel grounded and know exactly. So, for example, I know I'm able, right? But at the end of the day, I learned because I knew who my... I, I learned from early, like very early, what my culture is. But I didn't know the language. I wasn't really raised within it, if that makes any sense. I'm not going to talk about my situation. Yeah, I'm just going to let you know that... <clears throat> This is why I'm so prideful, despite not knowing a lot, or being 
Anyway, you know what? I'm chatting too much. Listen, click the link in the description box below. Um, there's a link to the EP. Listen to it fully, stream it, whatever. And there's a link also where it says become a member of the Acabula Trust. Like I said, you get access to online courses such as African history. And with that, you will learn to find out what your true roots are, what your true lineage is, right? And then you'll be able to connect more to whatever your um whatever culture, whatever tribe you are from, and all that stuff there. So if you've got any questions, any topics you'd like for us to discuss in our videos, go ahead, leave that in the comment section below. And remember, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification because you never know the video you suggest might just be next.